Hey guys, James here from TCG University, come back at you with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be showing you Tam's Akuma deck. Make sure to check out the Campus Championship so you can see how the deck was in action. And let's get into it. Okay guys, Akuma is a 626 with Evil, Order, and Void. We are playing our deck under Order today. He has two abilities, Respond, Flip one card in your card pool. After your opponent makes a check to play a non-foundation card, it gets minus two, failing it won't in their combat phase. And then enhance your attack. Add the top card of your deck to your card pool face down or face up. This attack gets plus one damage for each face down in your card pool and gain stun one. Uh, so he likes to really buff damage and kind of have these one spurt attacks, but also does a very good job of um, controlling our opponent on defense because he gets to flip things on block and make all of his opponent's attacks basically have breaker two on them. It's really strong. Really good card. Okay, so we'll go with the stuff that functions really well with Akuma, which are his attacks. Uh, we have Dohatsu Shoten. It is a 5-3, three, 3 mid for 5. No, uh, has a 0 block on it. Desperation 3, Fury, and Powerful 2. Uh, has a static of face downs. Don't count towards rest of difficulty to play this card. It only counts the face ups. And then Enhance, you can add the top card of your deck to your card pool face down to give it plus 2 speed and plus 2 damage. Uh, so basically, you can make this thing in the right order become a, uh, with its own ability, a 5-7. And then with its ability, a 5-9 with a stun one on it, which is crazy. Uh, we have one Dalek Devil Slayer. It is a 5-3, five, 5 high for 5 with a 0 mid block as well. EX3, pow Powerful 3, Fury, and Weapon. Uh, face down cards, and that kind of brings us difficulty to play this card. Uh, same thing with the other one. It just means that uh, all of our face downs don't matter, and it works really well on block because we have a 0 mid block. Uh, we have four Enlightened by Defeat. It is a 1-5-2 mid block. It's a nice spam, but its ability, is, the main ability is E commit. This attack gets minus one speed and pl uh, minus one speed, plus one speed and plus one damage for each face down in our card pool. So this card works really well when we stuff a bunch of things in with this card, Akuma, and we do it multiple times, and then we just give something 5-5 five, five, or 6-6, six, 4-4. Six, four, four. And if we have multiples of these out, it's just crazy. Uh, we have one Fashion Stance. This is the uh, outlier for one, for most of the deck. This card works really well with Akuma. Uh, it's a 3-5 with a 3 mid block. Uh, enhanced Flip, we can seal one of our opponent's Chaos, Death, or Evil Foundations. Pretty alright. But the main ability we like for this deck is E, your attack. Add this card to your card pool. Your opponent adds one of their committed foundations to their card pool. Uh, so we stun things, so being able to add cards in and then uh, st uh, obviously add one of their cards in and then have the ability to, whenever we need, use Akuma's ability to flip this foundation and do stuff is really nice. Uh, next, we have this uh, slight reversal thing going on uh, where reversals are very strong on defense because of Akuma's stun as well as just pushing damage through. We have, uh, as well as also just getting to have two cards in our card pool, the block and the reversal, to be able to flip with Akuma, which is also very nice. Uh, we have Congo Kokoretsan. It is a 5-3, five, 5 mid for 4 with a 0 low block. All of his block mods are nuts. Uh, as Fury, powerful 2, and reversal. The face on cards also do not count towards progressive for Congo. Uh, I'm just going to Kogo. Who cares about Congo? Kogo. It's a Coco. Uh, enhance, you may remove face down, uh, face down cards in your card pool in addition to discard momentum to pay for this card's powerful ability. Uh, so this card is one of the cards you play at the end of your normal attack string, but also works really well if you're playing a bunch of things on defense as well. Uh, this card just says, I played a bunch of things in my card pool. I'll scoop all the face downs out to just buff this attack to infinity and just try to kill our opponent. Works really well if we can give it speed with things like Enlightened and whatnot. Uh, and just kind of blows our opponent out. And getting to stun on Reversal is crazy. The next attack we're playing is also Reversal. It is Navo Soleil. This is one of the, this is one of the only two non-Akuma attacks. It is a 4-3, three, 3 high for 5 with a 1 high block. Charge, Reversal, and Weapon. Enhance if this attack was played as a Reversal. Ready two foundations that have not been ready this combat phase. So we get to ready some things up. And then enhance if it's not completely blocked. Commit your opponent's character. Uh, this card makes our opponent have to block our reversal or commit their character. So basically we get to stun one with Akuma and buff this one with some damage. 
We get to force them to want to block it with Akuma, uh, block it with anyways. And then depending on how they block it, we can also flip foundations and do cool things and force them to have to commit out, which is very, very hard to do, especially with Akuma, uh, Akuma's check hack. Next, we have this uh, neat uh, foundation package we're doing, which is we're trying to play cool things into our uh, into our uh, staging area that don't match our symbols. So we're playing four Siong, uh, new Siong style or match the symbols we're trying to play. Four new Siong style Scarlet Meteor. It is a 5-3, five, 5-5 five, five for 5 with a 1 high block. Uh, we're mainly playing for the E destroy 1 foundation, add 1 asset or foundation from your discard pile to your staging area. Uh, we're, tr we're doing that to try and add shadow inheritance and admission fees. We'll get to those in a second. That just allows us to gain a lot of advantage because of uh, our face downs existing in our card pool. Uh, one of the other ways we get those uh, cool foundations out is Buddha's Devotion. Uh, it is a 2-5 with a 2 high block, breaker 1. First form, destroy. Each player may add up to two foundations that they could normally play. So with uh, shadow inheritance, you have to add it with Siong style. And with uh, admissions fees, you can play either. But that you can normally play to your staging area as a first form. So we get we have these cool cards in our hand, and we just drop them into our staging area to do cool things. So we'll move on to the one that doesn't match any of our symbols, Shadow Inheritance. Shadow Inheritance is a 2-5 with a 2 low block. Breaker 1, uh, we play it for the R commit before a player attempts to block this attack. Their block modifier gets plus 1 or minus 3 for each non-attack card in our card pool. Each of our face downs are non-attack cards, which allow us to buff our buff blocks or um, basically decrease their blocks and make sure that we get to uh, push our attacks through or buff our blocks to make sure we do get to block something and get to do cool Akuma things. Uh, then we have two admission fees. Admission fees is a 2-5 of the 3 mid block. Uh, enhance, add the top card of your deck to your card pool. This attack gets plus 2 speed or minus 2 speed. That ability is nuts. It's doubling up on Akuma. You give something 2 speed with this by adding a face down in. And then you give 2 speed with Akuma by adding a face down in and giving a stun 1. So you, all your attacks basically gain stun 2 and uh, stun, uh, stun 1 and plus 2 speed plus 2 damage, which is crazy. Super Nuts card, uh, staple in the evil build, basically. <laughs> a four of staple in the evil build. Okay, on to the other cards that uh, don't really match how they, this part plays, but are still good, uh, strong cards for the deck. We have two stop. Stop is a zero four three mid block. You'll never care about the difficulty on this card. You mainly only play for the respond card pool remove. After you block with this card, commit your opponent's character. This just basically slows down our opponent. Uh, and allows us to get more, bite us, bite us more time to be able to uh, kill our opponent. Then we got three homemade explosives. Homemade explosives is a two five of the two mid block. Has a stack that says after it's destroyed. During the enhanced step, we get to draw a card, and uh, this attack gets plus two or minus two damage. And then enhanced destroy, destroy one of our opponent's assets. Uh, there's a lot of asset, a lot of strong assets that have come out recently, and this just allows us to get rid of those cards and not have to worry about them. Um, it also just allows us to pump damage and draw cards if we really need to. Then we have two Omega Sword and Elk Shield. Uh, it is a 1 6 with a 1 mid block. Uh, you can block with it from your staging area as though it were in your hand as a static. And then as a stack as well, after it blocks, the attack still deals one damage. Regardless if it's a throw or not, or if you blocked uh, mid to mid, it'll still only deal one. Uh, then enhance twice per turn, you get to flip one foundation, and then both players will commit one face of foundation. It's just more stun to make sure we can push attacks through with Akuma, or more like stun on our opponent's turn to make sure that we slow them down. We have one Scarlet Thunder. Scarlet Thunder is a 2-5 of the 3 low block. Enhanced discard momentum. If your non-throw attack deals damage, you get to add one other card from your card pool to your hand. Uh, especially when uh, when we play everything ignoring progressive for the Akuma side of things, getting to pick things up and get to play them again is nuts. Uh, we'll never use the Siang style uh, Siang Mina enhanced because we're not Siang Mina, so don't ever worry about that one. Uh, then we have three Forbidden Moonset. Forbidden Moonset is a five three three high for six with a two high block. Enhance this tech loses safe and gains powerful five. And then enhance add one of your opponent's foundations to their hand so you get rid of a prong card. And then if you have six or fewer foundations, you got one of your cards to your momentum. Uh, and with the powerful five or the powerful and all our other attacks, really allows us to uh, push through on some damage. And then the last stack in the deck, 
We have two Quick Needle. Quick Needle is a 4-3, 4 low for 4 with a 1 mid block. Has range, safe, and weapon. Enhance, if this attack does damage, it does not count as progressive. So it basically counts, uh, basically doesn't count the same way uh, face downs don't for our attacks, which is kind of the idea for it. And then respond after the zone of this attack is changed, you get to gain life. Uh, we don't change zones very often, so we don't have to worry about that. We have two God of Thunder. Uh, we do add a lot of cards to the card pool. So if we ha ever have to play things counting the face downs, like if we get sealed or whatnot. God of Thunder, and we have to commit foundation. God of Thunder just says we can get rid of cards we don't need, try to ready things so we can play better defense or continue an attack turn where we probably shouldn't have been able to. We have one refusing to let go. It is a 3-5 with a no block. E commit, return this attack's damage to printed. This attack gets plus 2 or minus 2 damage. Uh, this just counteracts big attacks like shot, uh, spear shotgun, missile launcher, and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't counter Chirito. Chirito says we can't. Haha. -ha. But um, just gets rid of problem cards that like to really beef up their attacks. Things like Spiral and whatnot. We got Tijuana Groceries. It's a 3 5 with a no block. E, remove two foundations in your discard pile. Ray this foundation. Play Walk Mid. This just allows us to have more uh, ready foundations to keep going in and going in as much as we can. We got two Cool and Focus. Cool and Focus works really well with our character. It is a 2 5 with a 2 mid block. That says when we attempt to block this this attack, we return uh, we put its speed back to printed and its zone back to printed. Uh, this card works really well versus multiples as multiples printed zones and speed are zero mids. Um, it works really well because we get to block practically for free depending on like how you're attempting to block it. But you block and then it gives you a you practically block for free and then you get to Akuma and just flip it, which does a lot of cool things. We got three passing the torch. Passing the torch is a two, five of the three mid block. Uh, enhance commit. Either draw one card, or if you have no cards in hand, you get to draw two. Uh, this card just lets us keep our uh, hand size up on defense, as well as if we really need to draw one more card on offense, we can. We got one as well as little doll. It is a two, five of the two high block. Respond. Uh, remove discard momentum after your opponent plays a non character responsibility. Cancel its effects and then respond check a five after your opponent adds foundations to their staging area during the combat phase. Commit that card. Uh, this just allows us to make sure that uh, our opponent's not building too much on their turn while they play attacks and to make sure we don't get canceled by our opponent. We got one hacker extraordinaire. It is a two fourth and no block. Uh, respond after we take five or more damage. We have the top card of our deck to our momentum. And then enhance once per turn. We can discard one momentum to draw a card and flip one of our opponent's assets. Like I said, we're in an asset heavy format. So being able to get rid of assets is going to be very strong. And being able to draw more cards in Akuma is very nice. Then we have one last of his kind. It is a 2-5 of the 2 low block. Uh, unique. Enhance. Lose 2 vitality. This tech is minus 4 damage. Uh, this just lets us increase our life total a little bit if we need to build a little further. As well as it has a desperation ability, which helps us when we lose vitality. That says all of our attacks get plus two damage. As an enhance, we just enhance attack plus two damage, enhance plus two damage. And it's the same ability if we ever get to deadlock. Uh, your attack enhance plus two damage. Just allows us to uh, make stronger attacks the more, the closer we get to death. Uh, then we have Living Pendulum. Uh, it's a 2 4 with a no block. Uh, respond commit after you lose vitality due to your opponent's effect you uh, your opponent loses to so it's a tit for tat kind of thing and then respond commit after your opponent plays an ability that modifies the speed of an attack cancels its effects uh, Siang Mina is one of the things I think about uh, you got things like uh, missile launcher and the such just making sure that uh, you're able to block something and that your opponent doesn't just get free advantage out of something is very nice one mortal resurrection it is a 2-4 of the 4 high block, so you'll practically never block with it. Um, respond, destroy. After your opponent plays an attack, draw one card. Play ball committed. And then respond, remove. After your opponent plays an ability that cancels your enhance or responsibility, cancel its effects. So if your uh, opponent cancels your uh, response or enhance ability, you cancel that. It basically works really well versus things like Togro Brothers and the such. Uh, then we have two Ageless, Ageless and Wise. It is a 1-5 of the two low block. Uh, respond flip after your opponent plays an ability that can causes any number of your foundations to leave your staging area. Cancel its effect. 
Uh, this card works really well versus a lot of things in the format. Has a nice low block. It's a spam. And you'll never worry about that bottom raiding effect because you're not raiding. Uh, then we have two Feifei. Feifei is a 1-5-3 low block. E flip. This tech gets minus 3 speed. Just basically allows us to block putting a card in our card pool for Akuma to flip. We have a few assets in our deck. So we have four Never a Day Without Training. It's a 1-5 of the two low block. Enhance flip. If you have one or more assets, you get to draw a card. And then if, well, for whatever reason, you don't have an asset, E flip, discard one card, draw a card. So you basically get to funnel your deck or just draw a free card. Has a nice two low block. It's a really good card. We got two Pursuing a Vendetta. It is a 1-5 of the three high block. Uh, it's, it cannot leave our staging area due to our opponent's effects. And then when one of our foundations does leave our opponent, our staging area due to our opponent's effect, we can flip it as a response to get a card from our discard, uh, a foundation from our discard pile and add it to our staging area committed. Uh, it just allows us to uh, replace foundations of our opponent attempts to destroy our stuff. Uh, then we have three Voice of Reason. Three Voice of Reason. It is a 0-5 of the two mid block. Enhance once per turn. Both players discard one card and draw one card. Uh, this just basically says we get to get rid of the cards that don't matter on our attack turn with Akuma. Our foundations, our assets that we're not going to build. And we can get rid of them to try and draw more attacks. Or defensively, if we need a high block and we only have a low, we can ditch it to try and draw something else. And the last card we're playing is two Agent uh, Agent in Black. It is a 0-5 of the three mid block. Enhance flip. Remove one card, one face down card from your card pool. Uh, basically, we add a bunch of cards, so sometimes when we want to build, we have face downs in our card pool, and we can just get rid of them and be able to build. Just does a lot of strong stuff and works very well with our character. Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. Uh, if you like the deck, let Tam know, let Tam know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash tcguniversity. And as always, guys, stay learned.